Have you subscribed yet? Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new viewers or subscribers, I thank you so much for tuning into my video. For all my OG ONL fan members, I thank you yet again for tuning in to another video listening to me talk about another subject. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I was looking through my analytics on YouTube and I realized a good percentage of my YouTube viewers or followers, like a big part of my ONL fam actually comes from India and I think that is so cool that I can actually see where people are coming from and um, I wanted to do a video about some of the things that I really love about India or some things that I think that the world really miss out on, you know, admiring what India has to offer in terms of human compassion, human nature or whatever it may be. So. With everything that's happening in the world, I think there are people out there who still believe in good human compassion, connection, and everyone's not just judging everybody based on their skin color or anything like that. So I'm not trying to make this like some crazy video and I'm really not trying to uh, get too much like negative traffic on this video either, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about India and what incredible things it has to offer. Now, before I get into this video, I will add Ella? I will answer a much asked question on my channel which is what is my cultural background and for those of you who have not figured it out yet I am 100% brown I am Indian both my parents are Indian and we come from the state of Punjab now when people ask me why I don't talk about my cultural background very often or my racial background, it is because as a kid, I always sort of was rebellious. I've always been one of those kids who was like, why, does the, why do things have to be like this? Why does this have to be like this? Why, 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 why? And I found that because I was always trying to break through stereotype, but I've done that through my gender, through my race, through my religion, through my height, through my, I don't know, physical appearance. I've always wanted to do things that were outside of what people expected me to do. And because of that growing up, and even now, I mean now less than before, I find I've always encountered a lot of judgment. People have always like, not always, but a lot of people have ridiculed me or made fun of me or made me feel like an outcast because I didn't live and work and breathe like how everyone expected me to do. Like I didn't want to do something. I, I wanted to understand something before I did it. I was always more interested in the logic or the rationale behind why certain things work a certain way. I'm sorry if I'm mumbling a little bit. It's really hot in here because I closed the windows because there's so much noise, so I'm so sorry. Um, but because of that, I just kind of like didn't, it's not that I was hiding anything, it's just that I, I felt like I, I'm not so good at speaking the language, I'm not so good at knowing everything in terms of the cultural and religious background and it's not because I was trying to be a certain way or I was trying to be white or black or anything or I wasn't trying to be anything. I just feel like I wanted to just live life how I wanted to live life and as long as I'm not hurting anyone and you know you're a good human being everything is okay and, and I really do believe that. I think it's okay that you don't fit into a certain box but there are a lot of things that I do take. I think they're a lot more cultural in me and I really really respect and value them so I wanted to talk about them because I feel like now the world is becoming you know with the internet and social media and the news and everything I feel like while the world should be coming closer and closer together, we are creating more of a separation and divide. And before we look at people as Indians or Chinese or 
African American or American or Polish or whatever, we should look at everyone as a human being. And we shouldn't even have to differentiate between man and woman. Everyone in the world should feel like they matter and that they are equal. So while I say that, I might potentially be contradicting myself. But I wanted to talk about some of the things that really make India great, some of the wonderful lessons that we can really learn from, you know, India or the Indian culture. And these are things that my parents taught me when I was a child and they've really helped me become like, you know, have like a level head on my shoulders, helped me make smarter decisions and I'm not saying other cultures or religions or whatever don't think like that. Just please don't think because I don't say something, it's like a reason to attack me. Like I don't like that. So anyways, I have spent like a few weeks or months or whatever over the last, I don't know, 10 years, I've gone to India and really tried to understand and respect the culture and the country. I've tra tried to travel around to different cities and parts and like, um, work with kids or whatever and i've really grown to admire the country and the people so much more by doing that i think it's important that we all go back or we give to our country or we give back to just the human race in some way so i really wanted to do something for india and that's when i went to india and i like spent time with kids and talked to them about like depression and anxiety and self-esteem and stuff like that so anyways besides the point um i think india is so diverse everyone knows that india is rich of culture it has so much to offer so many different kinds of foods and languages and people and just colors and vibrancy uh, that really really make India something that is very unique like I think you can go north to south and it's like being in a completely different country in a way you get to experience a different culture different foods different languages different environment different temperature and it just makes India absolutely beautiful there's so much history in india like indians as a people you know if you date it back have been through so much and yet i really believe that cohesively indians are incredible there's such a sense of community and support for one another um actually funny enough i will tell you a story to really really solidify this example i think in about <laughs> 10 years ago or so I was in California for a conference and I was about to miss my flight and there were like a group of really young Indian guys sitting there and they must have been Punjabi or something too so I went up to them and I started talking to them and if you guys are watching this video and you remember me thank you so 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 much and i remember just telling them that i was missing my flight i had gotten on the wrong train in san jose i needed to get to the airport and i was freaking out and the four of them really came together you know they were calling me their sister and like they just helped get me to the airport and all that sort of stuff without all the details it sounds a little bit shady but this was a long time ago, this was about 10 years ago, and they really, really came through for me, and it was incredible. And anytime I have been in any trouble, if it's ever happened, and like, let's say you go to your local Gurdwara, or you go to, uh, you know, just a local community center, and you speak to Indians, and you let them know what's wrong, they will always, always help you. I don't think I've ever approached like an older lady or an older man or even younger kids and explain that I was in a problem and they haven't helped me out. They've always, always really gone above and beyond to help me and I love that sense of community and I think it's so incredible. Like when my dad, so my dad wears a turban, he see my dad when he walks around and he's not in india it's so amazing when he walks by another sikh man they always nod at each other you know they acknowledge each other and i think it's really cool i know that russell peters and a lot of stand-up comedians always make jokes about like seeing another colored man in another country and you always wave at each other but it does happen and it's so cool like even if i see 
someone who's Indian in a city or a country that I go to which is predominantly another race or another culture, maybe where English is not even the first language, I will always sort of try and go out of my way to talk to them, say hello, and just kind of ask them about their experience in the country because for me it's always interesting. But this probably is like my journalistic background where I've always been interested in people's life and <laughs> whatever. So. Um, that's something that's really important. Now this this video is not like a order or a list or anything. I just kind of wanted to talk about how much solidarity and respect uh, I've learned through that culture and I've really carried it with me and I will continue to carry it with me. Another thing that I really, really admire and respect in the culture, and I think a lot of cultures do this, is that sense of family. No matter how much you hate each other, no matter how much your mom and that sister-in-law and that lady and that mother and that uncle, they all have problems, no matter what, they will always pull through there for you. So if you land at the airport and you have an uncle or a cousin or whatever there, no matter how much you've never spoken to them or you've spoken to them, they will be there. They will come get you. They will take you to their house. They will give you a roof over your head and they will take care of you. And I think, you know, we really need to respect and admire that. Like, I've traveled to so many countries where my dad's been able to call people and be like, hey, my daughter's coming down or whatever. Um, some of these people I never met, but there were people my dad went to school with and they picked me up and they gave me a home and like, now they are like more than my family to me. They mean so much to me and it, it's just the way it is, you know? And there's so much solidarity, community, and that sense of family where, you know, your brother's friends become your brothers and your sister's friends become your sisters and your mom's friends are like moms to you, you know? And you respect people who are older than you. And, and not only that, when you grow older, you respect your parents, you try and give something back to your family because, you know, I really do think that in, in that Indian culture, like, your parents really grind their knees to give their kids everything they can. And it's, I feel like our parents are so humble and we really should respect them. We should be thankful to everything they do for us. You know, like I hear so many stories of kids whose parents work on farms and they came out of nothing and they're incredible businessmen or they're engineers and they came from nothing. And it's incredible so that they did all that so we could have the life that we do now. And I think it's really cool that culturally we, we feel that responsibility to take care of our parents too as they're growing older not because they depend on us but because we care about them also so I think that's really 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 cool um other than that I also want to talk about friendship I know this uh, everything I'm talking about is just about inherent human nature and if you really think about this this nature, this human nature, or these qualities are within all of us. They really exist in all of us to be compassionate and to care and to respect people and to recognize each other and to help each other. You know, like even the friends that I've made over the years when I've gone to India, like anytime I went, like because for example, I went for a wedding a couple years ago and I don't own any sort of like Indian clothes. I don't have saris or anything like that. And this friend who is my brother's friend, and if she's watching this video, Ashita, thank you so much like she went above and beyond to help me get dressed to figure everything out and she is just incredible like so I just love that I know people like that exist everywhere but I've always found in this cultural context there's always been that sense of support and community and uplifting one another and I love that I know there is a lot of crappy things that are happening in the country. I know I've been talking for a long time, but if we just manifest this human quality more and more, we really care for one another, we help one another. I think, you know, India as a country overall does have the potential to grow even more, to develop even more, and to do more, to progress more. But I think that the thing with Indians is that 
you know, they will always put you first. They will always try and like be there for you. There's always the nice place for the nice people. There's the nice food for the guests and the nice bedroom for the guests or whatever. And I think it's such a sweet thing where our parents always tell us, you know, just shut up, do what the other person is saying, let the elders talk, respect them and all that sort of stuff. So I know this is a very random video and if any of you have made it this far, I thank you so much for watching this. I thank everyone for watching this, not only my Indian ONL fam, but this one was definitely out for you guys. Um, you know, it's a big part of who I am and I respect and love every part of what makes me me, whether that be a girl or Indian or Canadian or whatever. So let's all come together, let's help each other out, let's lift each other up because there's enough room for all of us to succeed. So help each other out, share this video with anyone who can use it, and until next time, think strong always, and I will talk to you guys again very soon. So much love for you guys, thank you, bye!